good day students so for today i will be showing you the solution to the problems regarding law of conservation of energy i hope by this time you fully understand the different forms of energy and the steady flow energy equation so let me recall first kung ano ba yung sinasabi sa first law of thermodynamics according to the first law of thermodynamics or also known as the law of conservation of energy energy is neither created nor destroyed it can only be transformed from one form into another and aside from that statement the main concept the law of conservation of energy is that yung energy entering a system is equivalent to the energy leaving the system in problem number one okay so ito yung ating diagram ano ba yung sabi dun sa problem number one these three energy quantities are received by a system 35 kilojoules 55 kilojoules and 70 kilojoules so kung i-sketch natin yung system kahit simple ang box lang pangalanan lang natin ng system so yung entering papasok dun sa system kaya yung arrow nya yung arrow head is papunta towards the box papunta dun sa system of the four energy quantities leaving the system, these three are known. So, meron tayong four energies leaving the system. And sa four na yon, itong tatlo yung known. 15 kilojoules, 25 kilojoules, and 40 kilojoules. During these energy changes, the system gives up 22 kilojoules of its stored internal energy. So, aside dito sa mga energies na sinabi kanina, meron pa siyang ginive up, nirelease, nireject, na 22 kilojoules of internal energy. What is the quantity of the fourth energy leaving the system? So, hindi natin alam ano kaya yung pang-apat na energy leaving the system. So, ilet na lang natin siya as E. So, by the concept ng law of conservation of energy, wherein energy entering is equal to the energy leaving Ano yan? Sum ng energy na pumasok equal sa sum ng lahat ng energy na lumabas. Okay. So, energy entering. Alin ba yung mga pumasok? Or yung arrow is papunta dun sa system? We have 35, 55, and 70. Kukuhanin lang natin yung summation ng tatlo. 35 plus 55 plus 70 kilo joules. Equal sa energy living. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 energies leaving the system. First, we have E. Then, plus 15 kilojoules, plus 25, plus 40, plus 22. So, ito yung pumasok na energy, ito yung lumabas na energy. Lahat sila may unit na kilojoules. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, ang magiging unit ni E is kilojoules. So, how do we solve for E? So, i-manipulate lang natin itong equation, getting the sum of these three, then transpose lang natin itong apat, makukuha natin si E. So, si E is equal to 35 plus 55 plus 70. Saan yun equal? So, 35 plus 55 plus 70 is 160 kilojoules. Minus, ta-transpose natin to 15 plus 25 plus 40 plus... 22 or 102. Okay. So, ang unit nito is kilojoules. Ang kilojoule ay unit ng energy. Okay. So, yung fourth energy is 160 minus 102 or 58 kilojoules. Therefore, ang sagot natin sa problem number 1 is 58 kilojoules. So, ganun lang kasimple. Kailangan mo lang Isipin or alalahanin yung first law which is the law of conservation of energy. Energy entering is equal to the energy leaving. So, meron tayong 58 kilojoules.